Okay, I'm Myra Clark and I'm having a show uh, opening on March 3rd. It's called Disrupted. And it's been a kind of complicated show to prepare for because there's so many different layers to it. And I finally kind of took it down to the very basic level and realized it all started with the statue in my garden that I had named Diana. I named her for the goddess uh, who is a virgin, who is the goddess of the hunt, the forest, and the moon, and a very kind of mythological, mysterious figure and I just loved her. Um, from that, there were a lot of literary and mythological and artistic kind of references that came out of naming her that and exploring those has really been the focus for me. A couple of things that, that I've done was one, when I was looking at the myth of Diana and Acteon, and, and uh, it's interesting because it really led me to think a lot about women and how they respond to things in the world. And Diana, as a virgin goddess, was totally, had totally banned men from seeing her. And Acteon did see her. He was a hunter and he came across her uh, bathing by accident and she got really upset with him turned in him into a stag and set his own hounds on him. And pretty grisly, but also great sense of irony there, which uh, kind of is interesting. Uh, and interesting about her power, and was it because she was a goddess that she could get away with something like that? I, it just was all these thoughts were going along. And then the other, the other thing that I've really been looking at is the Lady of Shalott, um, whose uh, John Waterhouse had painted a painting of her very romantic, very much she had a curse on her and lived in this tower and when she left she would die and so she couldn't stand being there anymore and she did leave and she did die and it was all very um, tragic. But what I really loved about it was that she did leave her tower. She did decide to go out even though she knew what would happen and that to me was the power of that story. So I'm Myra Clark and my show opens on March 3rd at Gallery 114. I'm showing with Laura Foster Flynn who's an installation artist and she's wonderful so I hope you'll come and see her work too. Then on the 18th of March Robin Schaffler and a gang of her friends is coming to uh, read from their, their work so lots of fun things going on. Come down and see us on the 3rd and if you can't make it come sometime during the month.